Welcome to this video on Of Grammatology by Jacques Derrida. I'm Andrew Chapman. I'm a professor of philosophy and I'll be your guide. Our purpose in this video is to provide you with a detailed yet accessible summary of this significant work, ensuring that you grasp its key concepts, understand its impact, and are prepared to discuss it critically in your classes and beyond. We'll begin with an introduction to the text and its author, followed by a summary of the main ideas. Next, we'll dive into a deeper analysis, examining the significance and implications of these concepts. We'll also cover how the text has influenced its field and discuss any major criticisms. Finally, we'll wrap up with a summary of the key points covered. Now let's get started with Of Grammatology. Of Grammatology, published in 1967, is one of Jacques Derrida's seminal works that lays the foundation for the field of deconstruction. Derrida, a French philosopher, challenges the traditional Western metaphysics and the privileging of speech over writing. He argues that writing, or grammatology, is not secondary to speech, but fundamentally shapes our understanding of language and meaning. Derrida's work revolutionized literary theory, philosophy, and various other fields by questioning the very basis of how meaning is constructed. Derrida's critique targets the entire Western philosophical tradition, particularly its reliance on binary oppositions and the hierarchical ordering of concepts. Of Grammatology is a dense and complex text, often considered challenging due to its intricate arguments and Derrida's unique style of writing. Derrida critiques the Western tradition of logocentrism, which privileges speech, or logos, as the primary source of meaning and relegates writing to a secondary status. He argues that this bias is unfounded and that writing is equally fundamental in the construction of meaning. A central concept in Derrida's philosophy, difference, a play on the words difference and deferral, refers to the idea that meaning is always deferred and never fully present. Meaning arises from the play of differences between signs, and this continuous process of deferral means that meaning is never fully fixed or stable. Derrida introduces deconstruction as a method of analyzing texts by exposing and undermining the binary oppositions that structure our thinking. Deconstruction reveals the instability and contradictions within texts, showing how meaning is not as clear-cut as it appears. Derrida redefines writing to encompass all forms of inscription, including speech. He introduces the concept of the trace, which refers to the presence of other elements within any sign, suggesting that no sign can ever be fully isolated or self-sufficient. This idea challenges the notion of pure, unmediated presence in language. Derrida's critique of logocentrism challenges the foundational assumptions of Western metaphysics, questioning the privileging of speech over writing. His concept of difference disrupts traditional notions of meaning by showing that it's always in flux and never fully present. Deconstruction as a method allows for a radical re-reading of texts, revealing hidden assumptions and contradictions. Of grammatology emerged in the context of post-structuralism, a movement that sought to move beyond the structuralist emphasis on stable, underlying structures in language and culture. Derrida's work draws on and critiques the ideas of structuralists like Ferdinand de Saussure and Claude Lévi-Strauss, as well as philosophers like Heidegger and Rousseau. Of grammatology has had a profound impact on numerous fields, including literary theory, philosophy, anthropology, and cultural studies. Derrida's ideas have influenced a generation of thinkers, including Paul de Man, Giatri Chakovardi Spivek, and Hélène Sixus. His work paved the way for post-structuralist and postmodernist approaches that emphasize the fluidity and instability of meaning. Derrida's deconstructive approach has been applied to a wide range of texts and disciplines. In literary criticism, it's led to new interpretations of canonical works, while in philosophy, it's prompted re-evaluations of foundational concepts. Deconstruction has also influenced fields such as law, where it's been used to critique and reinterpret legal texts and concepts. Derrida's ideas have been extended and adapted by many scholars. For example, Giatri Spivek's postcolonial theory incorporates deconstruction to critique Western representations of the other. 
In feminist theory, thinkers like Hélène Sixus have used deconstruction to challenge patriarchal structures in language and literature. Derrida's work has been criticized for its perceived obscurity and difficulty. Some critics argue that deconstruction leads to relativism or nihilism, undermining the possibility of stable meaning or truth. Others, like philosopher John Searle, have criticized Derrida's interpretation of speech act theory, arguing that it misrepresents the views of other philosophers. In summary, Of Grammatology by Jacques Derrida is a foundational text that challenges the traditional privileging of speech over writing and introduces the concept of deconstruction. Derrida's critique of logocentrism and his notion of difference reveal the fluid and unstable nature of meaning. His work has had a significant impact on various fields, encouraging new ways of thinking about language, texts, and meaning. Despite its complexity and the criticisms it's faced, Of Grammatology remains a crucial work for understanding contemporary theoretical approaches. Derrida's insights into the construction of meaning continue to influence scholars and students, prompting ongoing debates and discussions about the nature of language and reality. Through deconstruction, Derrida invites us to question our assumptions and explore the hidden layers of meaning in the texts and cultural artifacts that shape our world.